Hey guys, it's Isaiah here, back in Assassin's Creed Valhalla on PS4. In the last episode, we signed our alliance over to Lettuce Dyer, and we are now about to go start... I can't remember what this place is called. East Anglia. So we gotta go here, and we gotta start... Go meet this person over here. Sorry that I didn't upload yesterday, guys. I just been kind of tired, wanted to kind of take a break. There might be days that I take off. I don't really know. I don't really plan on taking days off or plan to upload or anything. I'll just kind of upload, I guess, when I feel like it. And I might take breaks here and there, but I'm not going to stop or leave, stop doing YouTube or anything. I'll... I'll always upload videos, just kind of don't know when, just kind of on my own time, you know, still got other stuff to do, so, anyways guys, I hope you enjoy the episode, and let's start up this next chapter in Assassin's Creed. Alright guys, so we're in East Anglia, we're about to go confront the Dane Steward in this long house, let's see what we gotta do here. What's happening? In here. Oh, no, not unless Halfton sent you. I saw your beat up old sword out there. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. And little else. Which man? <sighs> You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane, for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. You just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him.
All right, guys. So looks like we gotta go find this Oswald. See why he's not back here on his throne or whatever Fenir is wanting us to do. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Thought I was supposed to go the other way. Well, my horse is right here anyway, so. Let's head down here and see what. See what this guy's doing. Cat. They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went. It what? Here he is. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. That was pretty rude. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So, what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. Alright. I'll follow you. Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman, Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the hold-up? The hold-up? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Dang. Sounds rough. Oswald seems a little young to be a king, but who knows? Maybe. Slow down. Maybe he's wise Something beyond his years. Quite right here. Sounds Hold. like it so far. A smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. This... Stay here. I'll have a look. Alright, I'll take him out. Let's see if we can do this quietly. <laughs> what do you One, see? One, two, three, four, five. I think there's only five. Alright. So there's one back here. Or he's up there. That was close. He's coming over here. Maybe we can assassinate him. There's two? Oh. Got him. Alright, he's coming over here also. There's only two more after that. 
Come on. Something's got the fox in the hen house. Let's go over here and grab this key real quick too. <laughs> All right, got the key. At least we didn't have to dig through um, pig dung this time. All right. Look, the Argar man running away. Well, there's only two of them, so. Hey. That works. All right, let's go back to Oswald. Wait. Can we go inside here? All right. I hope I, I hope it's okay for me to go in here now. I hope he's not waiting for me. Got a resource chest. All right, now let's go talk to him. Oh, sorry guys, if you can hear that in the background. I guess I shouldn't have got on the horse. Ruid's clan, they left none alive. God rest their souls. I needed his own to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Alright, so it looks like we need to attend the dinner at night. Looks like we gotta wait until it's night time I mean realistically we can meditate but we can go get these chests might as well hopefully the resource chest and not just supplies for the for raven store I need resources we'll go get this one first like it's up in this tower so gotta climb up here please be resources oh it's just supplies all right and then there's one over here I gotta cross the river to get to it. Let's go over here so we don't gotta swim. I guess I probably should have gone to that one first, considering we're having to cross the river to get to it, but it'll be alright. Up here. Oh. More supplies, of course. I wonder if there's any river raids that we can do right now. We can do these. I might wait until I'm a little bit higher level. You know, this one's probably going to be supplies too. It was actually resources. Alright, let's see if we can just meditate until night. Wait a second, how far away is it? Oh, over here? Alright, well I guess we can travel there first. We might be able to make it there by night time. And if not, we can just meditate. I don't know, because 
I don't know if I meditate now, if it'll go past night into the morning. Maybe I should name my horse. I wonder what I should name my horse. I think I'll just call my horse Ned. Little Ned. Ned was actually what I called our cat that passed away last year. He was a really good cat. His name was Teddy, but I called him Ned. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, got him. So it's over here. I guess we can go to the shop. Take care of my horse. Be my eyes. Looks like there's just one. There's two, but we can't go in there right now because a healthy scene, town. We gotta be for the uh, cutscene. Well Let's go to this first. Go get the chest before we go to the shop. We need to take up time anyways because we gotta wait till night. If it's still daytime when I go to the shop, I'm gonna just meditate. Kind of just say screw it and see what happens. Underground. Wonder how we get down there. Okay, well. Oh, okay. That worked. And I'm on fire. Alright, so now let's go to the shop. And it looks like it's starting to get dark, but I really can't tell. It might just be because of the shadows. I guess I can just go sell those deer hooves that I picked up. I don't know if I got any more trinkets on me. I might. Come, see my wares. I have a little bit of stuff. You always bring the strangest Not things. Not a lot, but. Anything this good? could be very useful. It's wise of you to stock up. Yeah, yeah. This is a very good piece. I wish they had one-handed swords in this game. This. I don't want well none of that stuff. All right. I will see you later, friend. So, it's still daytime. 
let's try this. Is this considered nighttime? I hope so. Look there. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Yay. Lords, ladies. This is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my dinner, our steward, to our guests of honor, Broth here and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Broder, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Oh, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home, and won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and sheep pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. That was pretty funny. Lasset took her was to dear She called us flaccid. Limp, weak, soft. Avor's dogging on his manhood right now. Ridiculous. Oh Sir. crap. I think I need to be parrying him. Dang guys, I suck. All right, we can just get one down and make it easier because we want them both on us at the same time. All right, so we got one. This guy's good. All right, we got them both. Stop! Not too all much trouble. You. That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise.
I'm sure each loser. Ah. All right, so Seems awesome we get those guys' booties, as expected. To be fair, Here though, did they really the stand a chance? Oh, my... we got four skill points. Let's see what we want to get. What are we aiming for right now? Bow to melee link. Turning uh, extra damage for a short time. Hmm, I mean, that's kind of cool. I've never used that one before. When your health reaches a critical state and conflict, everything around you will appear to move slower. Yes, we definitely want to aim for that. And that should be the next thing we can get. This here. Alright. You can find. Hey, We're good. Good to see you. Find and speak to Whoa. Oswald. Okay, so he's he's probably over here next to the trader building. That's ah. what that was just saying. Oh, here he is. Ah, good morning. Upright. Nelly. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Uh, I'm glad you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur... You'll be raven flock food, but your brain's soaked in mead, and your head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. He'd take two seats in a longship. He'd do well to remember that, Oswald. A walrus? A whale? A behemoth by name? No, it's Finny the Fool, drunk and reeking with shame. 
Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamped words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> it's too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said... I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. All right, looks like we're supposed to take him down the river. Is there not a boat around here? Oh, there's one over there. All right, well, I guess we're going to go over here. I don't think he has to follow us. Will you drop? All right, let's take this boat to the island. We'll be there in just a minute. Alright, we're over here at this island. Gonna meet Finier, and it looks like we're gonna fight Oswald. To, I guess, prove that he has might or whatever. Let's find out. Done. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Just do your best, I'll be fine. All right, let's fight Oswald. We'll fought your king out of you yet. Don't hold back. You felt that one? I'm still here. It's a fight you seek. Hard to believe this one will marry Baldis, don't you think? Expect the Danes to follow this pork belly? I'm, I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, sir. All right, looks like he's coming back. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. You I wonder if I can let him win. At this rate, is this the best East Anglia has to offer? Yes, and I'll, I'll prove it. Come yeah, let's see if we fight. can let him win. I'll battle you. Finish this, Eivor! It pains me to watch! Come on, you can hit faster than that, bro. I'll do what I need to do. I wonder if it's actually gonna, like, let him win and not kill me. I didn't mean to dodge that. You want me to fight? <laughs> One more. Let's see. All right. I think. I think it counted as him winning. Oswald of Elmenham. You may be a king to us Danes yet. 
What you lack in strength, you make up for in grit. Yes, I'm nothing if not gritty. You fought bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have, even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attack Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Alright, so it looks like we gotta take him to Serpent's Landing and burn the carts and cargo. But we're gonna do that in the next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Is there any snacks around here? No? Well, we're gonna have to find some rations in the next episode because I don't know if we can actually, uh. I mean, we probably could, just better to be safe. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I'll. Sorry, guys, I got lost. Um, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm gonna continue making these videos whenever I can. Um, please leave a like and a comment on the video. And subscribe if you like the channel and the videos. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see you guys.